Hello, I'm Ian Guest, Global Head of Marketing for Modality Systems. Hey, I'm Tom Arbuthnot, I'm Principal Solutions Architect and I look after our diagnostics product here at Modality. So, in any IT or technology project, whether it's technology facilitating change or whether it's technology on its own, which is more rare these days, user experience is quite a key aspect and it's, it's estimated that sort of 70% of change projects fail because of the user experience or people related issues. Yeah. So you, you really can't afford to uh, neglect that. And that, and that the, really the reasons why the things that affect user experience fall into two camps. It's the kind of technology element and the people themselves, their understanding, their knowledge, etc. Uh, and what we see with diagnostics, it is very much focused around delivering that top level good user experience. Yes. Yeah. Healthy environment, better experience, better adoption, business value, that, in that kind of order. Um, but when you start looking at the next layer down of those, those issues, what affects the user experience, we can broadly sort of break them up into the network, um, adoption skills, devices, um, and issues with the software. I think probably the four, there's maybe others, but the four key ones. So yeah. with our diagnostics tool, well, how do we cover those things to actually bring it all together to give that insight to an administrator? Yeah, so, so as you say, we think about diagnostics as part of the methodology. So if you're a Skype business service owner or an Office 365 service owner, we feel like your responsibility is to deliver the best service to your users. And sometimes that is about user training, user adoption, and sometimes that's about the technology working. And both are equally important. And with Skype for Business, those all get blurred. So the business don't, you know, aren't happy with it, don't understand how to use it. What well, is that training or is that network performance or is that their, their devices aren't patched? So with diagnostics, we take a methodology to driving through all the information and understanding where should you spend your time to improve your service. So yes, we look at network performance and network reporting. Yes, we look at patch levels on, on Windows. Is the Skype client patched to current? Are they using a proper device or are they using PC mic and speakers? We pull all the errors from Skype for Business and say, you know, where are we getting call drops? Where are we getting issues like that? We also pull user adoption stats. So by department, by country, who's using it and what they're using. Are they using conferencing? Are they using app sharing? Are they using video? Because the theory is if you're using Skype for Business, you want to be using those methods because they're increasing your collaboration and therefore increasing your business performance. And because we take all that into Power BI, we can understand, actually, from this noise of we need to improve Skype for Business, we can bring it to more of a science of, well, you want to concentrate on these particular users because they're using PC mic and speakers, you want to concentrate on these particular subnets because they've got packet loss, and we're seeing these errors between these two sites, we believe that the proxy in the middle is probably causing the issues. So taking it from a bunch of information to here are the five actions you should take this month to improve the service. And that's quite key, because this is about continual improvement. It's not just about fixing problems that are here today. No, I mean, it's, it's absolutely a life cycle. Like a, a Skype for Business project is not a fire and forget project. You want to test the network before you deploy. You want to then continuously monitor and test during deployment. And you want to continuously look at usage. Like if usage is dropping off, that's often a sign that something's wrong. And it might not be the you know client patch levels or the devices, it might be something else that's going on that you need to understand. So only with looking at all the information and reporting it and understanding it can you say, yes, like last year sales weren't using any conferencing, this year they're using a lot of conferencing. I've enabled the business to collaborate better and improve their performance. Uh, as we know, perceptions of success, failure, service rates and everything else are key in this, whether it's the reality or not. So actually being able to monitor that and report back into the business proactively where what's happening and make those proactive changes is quite key. Yeah, really important. So Skype service owners or IT, depending on who owns it, reporting back into the business how you're performing is key because quite often you're removing people from traditional phones on their desk to new ways of working and they will try new things. You know, They'll try and do a conference call from the airport on Wi-Fi they'll try and work from home in their shed at the bottom of the garden and they might not get the best experience. And if you don't help the business understand, well, on our managed network, where we have 100% responsibility for it, we're running at 97% good, 
but yes, when people run externally, there are some issues, or yes, when they're using their Mac, PC, mic, and speakers, they have some issues. Here's how we're trying to proactively train them. Here's how we're giving them certified devices. You need to take that to the business rather than the business coming to you and saying, Skype isn't working. It's like, well, they are not great at defining what they're doing or why they're doing it because they're not technical, they're the business users. So you have to own that responsibility of going to them and saying, look, the things we control, we're scoring this, but we feel there's training requirements here, we feel there's new devices need here, and the Wi-Fi in you know, Aruba needs in investment because it's dropping loads of packets. We need some more money from the IT budget to improve that Wi-Fi.